Today I'm here just to share with you my story of how I became a student entrepreneur and how you can become one as well. Um, everyone has a smartphone. That, uh, that fact itself proves that all of you can do what I have done today. So um, the very fact that uh, you have a smartphone in your hand shows that you can do whatever uh, I have done because the only way through which I have achieved what I have achieved is through my smartphone and nothing special. So um, everyone has internet connection. In fact, internet connection is better in Timapur than in Kohima. So uh, you have a better chance. Now, um, so... I'm going to have a short entrepreneurial talk. Here I'm going to share my testimony and a few tips uh, with you all. Now, um, my name is Idi Dowlet Ya. I'm doing my Bachelor of Science in Koima Science College, sixth semester. And um, I've been doing this business for around two years now. And within these two years, I've been able to expand my uh, business, not just in Koima Science College, or not just in Koima, but also around Dimapur, and also uh, in different districts of Nagaland. And through my digital uh, platform, I've been able to expand my business across mm -hmm. India. So there's um, a little bit of everyone doing a uh, reflame through all about beauty across India. So that's how fast my network has been. And then, um, uh, I found a page called All About Beauty and that's where uh, my platform, my base began. So today I have a business card uh, of All About Beauty. Now oh, I'm going to leave it to each and every one of you if you are curious or interested about how I began this journey and if you want to be a part of this uh, as a student and join for free or get a uh, master classes through me for free then you can get back to me in my number my gmail or my instagram id so you can just um, mail me there uh, my sister and my friend will give the cards to you you can have it now meanwhile i'll I'll just go ahead with my talk. So All About Beauty is nothing but a um, personal brand that I have come up with uh, in the year 2018. So uh, it has been two years now. And then um, I am currently, like the leader has said, I'm currently the first and then the only recognized digital leader in Oriflame India in uh, Nagaland. And also if I look at Oriflame India as a whole uh, at a national level, then I'm currently the youngest digital leader in Oriflame India. So um, also the youngest girl director and I've been able to achieve this in two years. So yeah, that's it. And then uh, my earning is like, um, varies but approximately I earn like one leg per month and uh, my <laughs> with that money I've been able to look after myself uh, I've been able to stand on my own feet and I've been able to help my siblings and my family members with that as well so with financial independence uh, it is not just about money so uh, when people talk about me they usually talk about my income <laughs> They know me by my income, but what I've personally uh, realized is it's not just about money. Uh, of course, this money has given me a lot of opportunity, but it is also about personal development. I've been able, after joining this uh, company and working here, I've been able to improve myself as a person, and I've been able to uh, understand people better. Like if I look into you, then I know who is interested, and I know uh, who is intrigued or fascinated, and I know who is a little bored. So uh, that way, I've been able to improve my mind reading skills as well, and it has helped me develop my leadership skills. So um, I've achieved so much throughout this uh, two years and I'm so happy that I'll be graduating with uh, a part-time job that gives me one leg and I would like to share this opportunity with all of you as well. So uh, uh, I am a fan of traveling but coming from a, a financially, uh, you know, 
uh, a middle class background, it has been very difficult for me to fulfill my dreams of traveling across the world. But coming here uh, into this company has given me a chance and I've been, uh, for this past two years, I've been traveling across India, uh, different states. But um, this year, for the first time in my life, I've qualified for my international trip and I'm going to Spain. Uh, next year, I'm qualifying for three countries again. So I'm really excited uh, to work for it. Um, I don't know how much you love traveling, but yeah, that's my story about traveling and leaders I feel. So um, when I do this business, it's not only about building myself or it's not only about making myself earn as much as I want. Um, in this business, it's a teamwork, and then I've been able to help my uh, friends and my fellow students earn along with me as well. So right now, I have three directors uh, under me, so I've been able to help them and train them and mentor them. Now they are uh, directors, they are all students, two are from Science, Koima Science College, one is from um, uh, Sazoe, uh, she's doing her B at now. So all of them are students and they are all earning 50,000 plus. So um, that's about my directors and I've also been able to build senior managers who are earning like 20 to 30,000 and they are spread across Nagaland. And I've, I also have um, a lot of managers spread across uh, different corners of India. So managers are people who earn about at least um, 4,000 to 40,000. So that's the range of uh, salary students of course are earning. Um, so I've been hinting you along, but how fast is my network? So um, uh, first, I started my network from my hostel. So I stay in a hostel of about 30 to 40 girls. So that's where I started my business. So you should always grow where you are planted, right? So that's where I started and then it slowly spread through my college and then I spread, uh, I could expand it to Kohima and in like six months time or something, I already had hundreds of people coming in to attend my meetings and I was not only giving meetings to students, but I was also uh, so happy and privileged to be uh, giving meetings to mothers and um, uncles. So um, people were coming in and then they were <laughs> coming in to learn more and I was so excited. The good thing about um, having meetings with this kind of people is they are so wide-minded and they are so willing to learn. Uh, they are so willing to accept so many good, uh, so many new things. So that's what I've noticed in them. And it has been a great privilege for me to work with different kind of people from different walks of life. I have worked with uh, students as young as 18 years. I've worked with uh, mothers, young mothers, old mothers, I mean, a little older mothers. And then I've been able to work with um, unemployed uh, students because you know there are 70 plus uh, graduates in Nagaland recorded unemployed. So just imagine uh, the amount of opportunity we have if we were to take up entrepreneurship. So um, I've been able to work with such kind of people. The, uh, the unemployed are not just normal graduates. There's a lot of people who went for MBBS. There's a lot of people who went for uh, engineering and they come back and now they are working with us and I'm privileged to work with all of them. So yeah. That's how far my network has been going and why did I choose entrepreneurship? So I've hinted a little bit in the beginning but um, my love for part-time job, you don't know how much I love part-time job. As a young girl, uh, I used to get married scholarships in my high school. I, like Sometimes it's 500, sometimes it's 1000, but um, you know 1000 is a lot when you are in class four or five, right? So I used to think that, um, first of all, my grandparents, they always let me take out my ten type. That is like the first and foremost thing. But uh, out of the remaining money, I always buy Maggie cartoons because I love Maggie. And um, after that, what I do is I uh, like to make use of my remaining money and make more money. The fact that I can buy something, make something out of it and multiply money, that fact fascinates me like nothing else. So I've been a fan of such stuff as a young girl and I used to like um, do such a uh, small small business but um, yeah that's how I started but now when I realize that I can make something like 
one leg out of a part-time job, I was like, okay, this is it, this is what's meant for me. So I went in and I did what I had to to get it. So that's why I chose entrepreneurship uh, and also independence and flexibility. So in this part-time job, what I've realized is um, there is no one to tell me when to come to office, what time I should come in, and there is no one I have to call boss. So I am my own boss, and I also, uh, whenever I work with anyone, I tell them you are your own boss as well. So um, everyone in this network is your own boss, they decide when they want to work, they decide where they want to work, they decide what time they want to work. So if you wake up in the morning and then you don't feel like getting ready or brushing, you can just work in your bed. If you um, if you are traveling far and you want to just, you just feel like you want to check on your network, then you can just work uh, in your, uh, when you're in your flight or when you are just taking the bus. So that's how flexible it has been. So um, that part I liked it. Um, financial independence, of course, like I've shared with you, I've been able to look after myself and there's abundance of money. <laughs> Money left after I look after myself, so I've been able to get what I want, help my family members, help my friends, and encourage uh, my other friends to become financially independent as well. So the beauty of financial independence uh, also intrigued me to do this business. So character building, like I say, and my passion to explore. When I say my passion to explore, I mean not just uh, explore the world or explore people. I also like to explore myself, my own potential. So uh, if you check out my personal, my business page is all about beauty, but my uh, personal page is ED Lover of Variety. ED is my name and Lover of Variety because I am a lover of variety. I love exploring. I am a fan of a lot of things. So um, this kind of business has helped me explore into myself and into other people and places. So uh, that's the reason I joined Orifin as well. Mm, now my goals. Mm, my goals are pretty simple and pretty big. Uh, so to help students like me to become financially independent. So first of all, I started to become financially independent myself. But when I look into it, it was so easy. I realized why not help other students of uh, like-minded students like myself help become financially independent. So um, that's why I started this journey of uh, visiting colleges. And thank you so much for being my first host. Uh, I'm looking forward to work with you more. So uh, so my main goal coming here today is to make you realize that it is possible as a student, even if you are undergraduate or you are not uh, you have not got your master's degree yet, you can still earn uh, six figures or seven figures and I would encourage you to make use of your potential time, of your potential ability. So to widen the door that welcomes new ideas. So, um, my, my point of view is to widen your point of view towards life and towards entrepreneurship. And if you if we look into Nagaland, I don't know how far you have explored, but um, in my point of view, uh, people in Nagaland are big fans of government jobs, and it's high time that we change that point of view towards something bigger, something more interesting, something more competitive, something more beautiful something that's more uh, impactful into our society. So um, there are like, we, there is a million or more in Nagaland and everyone is not born to be a government employee. So we need to realize the importance of uh, chasing your own passion. So um, a lot of us here likes to do a lot of things but we still study just for the sake of getting our degree and getting a job. I think it's time that we wake up and chase what we are supposed to chase. So uh, yeah, that's my goal and to simplify the language of money because a lot of us think that money is a complicated thing. Money is something students should not talk about. Money is something only moms and um, dads should talk about. So I think uh, it's time we change that perspective and if we talk about money, uh, you are uh, you are put under the category of a money-minded person, right? So I think it's time to change that perspective because uh, there are two types of money, the good money and the bad money. If you're getting money out of something 
illegal or if you are getting money out of something bad, then of course we should not talk about it. In fact, we should shut it down. But if you are talking about good money, the money that you are earning with your hard work, with your passion, with by doing what you love, I think we should keep it louder and louder until the whole world hears you out. So that's the concept of money, the part of money that I want to encourage each and every student who's in here. Now, um, who do I work with? I work with students, literate and illiterate homemakers, I work with employed and unemployed youth. So there's a lot of people who are already employed and they are still doing this uh, as a part-time job. So people like that are having two incomes, um, which is very much possible. And usually my kind of age group, the, work, the age group that I work with is uh, 18 to 40 plus. So um, yeah, the others I work with is uh, 40 plus, but if 50 plus wants to come, I would be happy. Mm, so how do I manage my time? So being a student, it can be very hectic and uh, very difficult, but I believe where there's a will, there's a way. Like when you are in for it, when you are in for the kill, there is no excuse. Uh, excuses are for lazy people. So um, what I did was, uh, for these two years, I've been doing my business for two years, and for two years, um, I have deleted all the video games in my smartphone. So um, when I bought this smartphone, uh, I bought it with my uh, first, when I started earning 27,000, uh, it was I think last year or 2018. So when I started earning 27,000, I bought this phone, it was first launched and it was 27k exactly. So I, I bought this phone and then there was a game called Subway Surfer. So uh, <laughs> this subway surfer was there, so uh, it was also added by the uh, phone itself, I mean by the company itself. I debated even that to make space for my business. So that's how I'm, how dedicated I am to my business. So I deleted my video games, uh, I stopped playing and then uh, for these past two years, just imagine how many current series, uh, series has been launched. Uh, I haven't watched any of them. Uh, the latest is uh, crash landing on you, right? All my friends in my hostel are talking about it, but uh, I have watched their trailer. Like it's about a uh, South South Korean girl landing into North Korea, right? And they fall in love. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. But um, right now I'm kind of busy making my future, so I haven't been able to watch that. But it's it must have been good. So that's how I make free time, making use of my breaks and free classes. So when I have a break of 30 minutes, 12 p.m. to 12.30. So as soon as I started my business, I stopped having uh, lunch. So, <laughs> so um, if I want to have lunch, I'll have uh, something quick, something um, like coffee or some, a quick drink or something like that. So that's how I started saving my time. Using that 30 minutes, I'll go out to meet uh, as many people in my colleges and talk about business. And that's how I uh, built my business as well. So uh, 30 minutes is a lot of time. You can make a lot of things out of it if you make use of it. So um, always learn to, yeah. So there is a lot of business trainings that goes on. They give us for free. So I've always invested my time and my pocket money into attending those meetings and making use of it. So uh, I've, I've been attending as many meetings as I can and all of that I've picked out as many points as I can. And using those uh, tips, I've been running my business. So what I'm trying to say here is as a student, it's very hectic. But um, also as a student, you have less pressure compared to other people, uh, other population. So um, if you make use of your potential time, then there's a lot of things you can do. Now, um, why I choose why choose entrepreneurship? So I've already shared with you why I chose entrepreneurship, and now I'm just giving you a few reasons why anyone should choose. Uh, there is time and choice flexibility. So, uh, like I said, you can work from anywhere, anytime you want, um, in any group. If you're in pajama, you can also work and get the same income. So, it's very flexible. There is freedom, you are your own boss, like I said. Not everyone is born to be a government servant, I said already. You are not on, uh, you not only earn, you become a solution to your society's problems. So, an entrepreneur is someone. Uh, uh, who is not just hungry to earn for themselves, but they also do 
into problems and the solution uh, into problems and the solutions and they become not only a solution for themselves but a solution for the society so I truly encourage all sorts of entrepreneurship it can be small scale it can be big scale whatever it is I am a fan of entrepreneurship and I encourage people to do that there is a fast call so um, entrepreneurship can be very very fast in nature and especially in this fast modern developing world entrepreneurship is booming like never before so uh, whatever idea you have in your mind you can turn it into a career and then you can make money out of it you can make value out of it you can not only help yourself but you can help uh, put out a solution out there in the world that's the kind of uh, scope we have in entrepreneurship today so, um, so you can see how vast or how good the scope of entrepreneurship is the richest man, in, the richest people in the world are all entrepreneurs. You know there are seven rich, richest men in the world, and these seven richest men have a uh, have wealth that is worth bigger than the whole of the population of the world. So that's um, how powerful entrepreneurship is. So now. Um, <coughs> Uh, entrepreneurship in Nagaland has been uh, there has been taking its you know um, it's coming into shape but there's still a lot of work need to needed so um, there is something some small corporations coming up there are uh, what do we call this private private departments coming up but I think if we look into it there is a lot of work to be done and being students I think we are the uh, upcoming society's leaders and I think we can do a lot of, a lot of things to contribute to our our state's entrepreneurship status. So unemployment in Nagaland, it is the highest, uh, Nagaland has the highest number of unemployment in Northeast India. 70,000 plus unemployed educated youth were recorded in the year 2016 according to Northeast Today. So in the year 2016 there was a record um, of 70,000 plus unemployed graduates. Uh, they are all graduated, they are uh, educated but they are unemployed. So this, are, this is just a number of those who are uh, registered. So just imagine the number of um, students who are not yet registered and are unemployed. So if you were to take up entrepreneurship today, uh, you would be one of the first and you would have a lot of uh, potential or a lot of, um, you know, field to work with. So so if you were there here at the end, I've given a ratio. This is 1 is to 70,000. This ratio, according to my probability skills, is the probab if, is your chance of getting a government job in Nagaland. So your chance of getting a government job is in Nagaland is 1 is to 70,000 because recorded there are 70,000 unemployed graduates and if you were to compete in any job, your chance of getting that job is 1 is to 70,000. Okay, so thank you so much uh, for patiently listening to me. Uh, like I promised, I hope I kept it very short. Um, thank you so much once again and I hope to see you guys again and work with you uh, in the days to come so please make use of my business card that i've shared with you today please get back to me um, uh, i'm sure there is about 100 100 people here and out of this 100 people i would like to get as many feedbacks as i can and um, and not closing not uh thank you so much that's a college once again and for your precious time here so um if you want to get back to me, you can get back to me on Instagram, uh, all about beauty. Thank you so much.